Hey guys, I'm Ali, and today I'm going to give you some study tips to help you pass your Security Plus and Network Plus exam on your first try. Some quick context about me, I have a Bachelor's of Science degree in Cyber Operations. I graduated in class of 2021. It's been a long time since I've done anything remotely technical or technology related. Most of the ideas weren't brand new to me, but I don't apply these concepts in any way in my day-to-day -day job. I definitely recommend that if you're actually going into a field or currently possess a job that requires these certs that you put in the effort to actually retain some of the knowledge more instead of just learn it in data dumb college style. Getting into the actual study tips, these exam objectives were my best friend. My number one tip is about studying the right materials. These are the official certification exam objectives. So there's one for Net Plus and one for Security Plus. They release a new version with every new version of the exam. These can be found on the CompTIA website directly. They're freely available and they just break everything down about the exam. So it has the number of questions, type of questions, uh, the minimum score you need to pass, and then the domains it covers. And then it amplifies itself even more and it'll give you different focus areas of each domain. Towards the end, there's an acronym list. So how I utilized these was I used them as knowledge checks for myself. I would go line by line and watch YouTube videos, so either Professor Messer, Cybercraft, or any of the more specific videos about these topics and make sure I have a good understanding of them, and then go through and take notes on the side of these objectives. Going through these exam objectives and the acronym list and taking notes is basically how I did the majority of my studying. The next largest resource I used was the CompTIA Cert Master Practice itself. CompTIA has different practice questions and there's even a Cert Master Lab portion. So with the Cert Master Practice itself, you do have to pay extra for it besides like just the exam for the extra study tools. I found it was worth it. Going through those different portions gives you questions in regards to each domain and then at the end there's a practice exam the question bank isn't extremely similar to the ones that you'll find on the actual exam, but I found in terms of the test taking aspect, it helps me understand the type of questions they were going to ask. I found that a lot of the questions aren't just factual knowledge, it's you applying different concepts. Practicing with Cert Master definitely helped me make sure I was going to nail the exam and had a good idea of how quickly I needed to pace to get through the questions. The third resource I had was the official CompTIA study guide slash e-learning book. The e-books are extremely long, they are legitimate online textbooks, so it will give you every piece of information you need to know about both Security Plus and Net Plus. Um, I think the books were like between five and 800 pages, and I used it as a resource of whenever I had trouble finding a certain definition or really narrowing down in my brain one of these concepts, I would go into that textbook and control F my way to find the specific information. I think I would only recommend spending the money on the ebook if you are brand new to these concepts and need those extra pages worth of information in your brain so that way you can have the definite for sure answer that they're looking for in these exams. My last study tip is having either a whiteboard or blank piece of paper, flashcards, Quizlet, whatever you need to do to help you memorize port numbers and how to do certain mathematical things like subnet masking. So those things are worth a lot of points when it actually comes down to it. You'll see them spread pretty widely. Writing things down and being able to recall them really quickly both saves you time on the test and helps you make up for any points that might be lost. The last thing I want to talk about is when you go to either Either buy the package with your exam or pick your test date, make sure you're constantly tracking that expiration date. I messed up in terms of not checking very frequently how far out that test was and I ended up having less than a week and I made it work but like I said it was not fun. I don't recommend it if you need to retain any of the information but it is possible if you are in a crunch. Even if you can't afford the time to constantly be studying and working out for these tests, I would at least just go on to CompTIA and double check to see if it's leaving or not. My method of studying definitely isn't the end all be all and it won't guarantee that you pass on the first time but it helps me a lot. I think it'll help a lot of other people 
And I think as long as you have a specific approach to studying, you're just not trying to jam information in all willy-nilly, you have a pretty good shot of passing. So good luck on your exams. Let me know how they go. And thanks for watching. Bye.